as crazy as this sounds, uh, I sold a job a couple weeks ago on a, uh, a Chevy 2500 from Pennsylvania, right? And the plan was we were going to drive to Pennsylvania and we were going to pick the truck up and drive it back. Me and Alex were. And the guy, you know, we ran some prices on what it would cost to fly us up there and the fuel back and all that for our time. And it was a little cheaper to actually have the truck just shipped down here. So he did. And uh, there's, a big, there's a big snowstorm up in uh, Pennsylvania right now. And the guy drove it with the trailer on with it on the back of a trailer all the way through the snowstorm, all the way from Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia, all the way down here to Georgia. Check it out. The truck is absolutely covered in snow and ice. You cannot even see out the windshield of this truck. Look at the front end of it. Came all the way from Pennsylvania overnight. This is for Better Call Paul. That's the guy's name. He's got a flooring company up in Philadelphia, and he uh, found us on YouTube and. Wanted to build a truck, so here we are. Oh. <laughs> it looks brand new on the inside though. Big new dash. Ooh, Chevy, use them on GMCs, but got a Chevy today. Got some projects in the shop today. This is a first uh, for me. I'm having to run this truck through the car wash. It's so dirty that that's not film worthy at all. So might as well. It is uh, 22 degrees outside. I don't know how there's people at the car wash right now, but there is. There's no way they're getting those mirrors clean. Bring me a brand new truck with 25 miles to eat. Back to the shop. Everything's all nice and shined up. 10 bucks, ain't bad. Little basic wash for it. Got the salt and ice off of the truck, so it'll be ready for the uh, videos now. 
It's about to go under the knife here today at some point, and uh, this one will probably take about two to three days. There's a lot going on in this truck. We've got uh, rock lights, wheel lights, amp research steps, exhaust system, nine inch McGoy's lift kit with every accessory possible to buy for it. It's even getting the uh, billet upper control arm caps, which are really cool. Pretty excited about this one.
Well, it's a late night. We're finishing up another one. This is Paul's truck from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is a 2024 Chevy 2500. Um, I know that the front end of this truck does not look like a, a typical 24. Uh, that's because Chevrolet only upgraded the high-end trim packages, like the uh, high country and things like that. So it does have the same front end as the older truck, but it does have the new interior inside. I feel like this one turned out perfect. It has a nine inch McGoy's lift as we do pretty commonly. 26 by 14 KG1 eddies. We did do the floating caps on this one. The, uh, the lights you see are infinite off-road. That's their 24 watt light. We did the McGoy's traction bars as well with the front kicker braces. They have the chrome accents on them. They look really nice. The way the wheel light looks on that wheel is just beautiful. Did a couple other things on this one. We did a Flowmaster exhaust. Exhaust is typically something we don't do here at the shop, but you know, when you're doing a big build like this, we do. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is one of my favorite ones for sure.